With Super Bowl kickoff less than 72 hours away, the great Louisiana migration is underway as Saints fans have been pouring into the Miami area today. And for those who've made the trip, nothing would have kept them away. Because a lot of people that wish for this day to come aren't here anymore. So uh, I'm here representing them. That's why I wear the 42 in the 42 year history. This is my oldest boy. We first Super Bowl, our beloved Saints are in it. We paid a little extra money to be here. It was like, you know, five grand total, but it's, you know, priceless. Now, few events in the world demand the type of coverage that the Super Bowl gets. And for more on the media's role in the whole Super Bowl hype, here's Travis Webb. Welcome to the Super Bowl Media Center, the headquarters for thousands of media members worldwide. Plenty of stuff going all around. Let's take a look. Super Bowl committees from Dallas and Indianapolis giving media members a small taste of what they can expect in Super Sundays to come. This is where all the newspapers are. As you can see, papers and outlets from around the world typing all their leads and their big stories for Super Bowl week. But down here is the pit, Radio Row, stations from around the country broadcasting all day long, trying to get the scoop and win the game before the game. But I think this game is about the Saints offense. It is crazy. Getting the scoop. It's everybody wanting to get the story. Leading the pack. You get the big guest that's walking through. Watching it slip through your fingers. It's like, hey, hey, and they walk away and you're like, Oh, well, not going to get him this time. In the dog-eat-dog -dog world of sports media, it's survival of the fittest at Radio Row. It's always that producer that has to run out there and try and get that guy if they don't have him scheduled and try and bring him over, and that's kind of the, the golden goose. You know, who gets the golden ticket? Who gets the, the big player? Celebrities, athletes, and more get whisked around station to station, usually promoting a product and talk football. But it's a madhouse, and it's probably thinned out at this hour. I saw it firsthand. I didn't like it because I thought it was overblown. I still think it's overblown, but that was 25 years ago. It's, it's 10 times as much now, or 50 times as much. And no matter how many years behind the mic, it's a dream week for all. It's just your best shows of the year. They're, they're your most fun shows of the year, hands down. I have Joe Montana and Dwight Clark together, um, giving my producer grief because he's a cowboy fan about the catch. So that just a small sampling of what it's like here in the hustle and bustle of Super Bowl week for us media types. In Miami, Travis Webb, KATC TV3 Sports.